This is the computer I got, just rebooting it right now. It's a Asus, if you will. Can't really see it. Um, Asus X501A. Um, it comes with a Intel Core i3 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and Windows 8, which I have to say I'm not too impressed so far with. I mean, it's okay, but it seems a little sluggish. I've already, of course, installed the uh, Windows Classic Shell, because I hate the Metro UI, and so does my grandma. Um, and, can't, and she <laughs> can't operate it at all. Um, it's a pretty clear computer. Once I think everything gets updated and up-to-date and happy and situated, I think it might be a pretty decent computer. Um, this machine in particular happens to be a great piece of hardware, though. It's built with ex excellent quality as far as like the screen. I don't feel like it's very cheap. The hinges feel very strong. This would be a great machine for your office or for school um, to carry around with you. It's extremely lightweight. Um, as you can see, it's very slim. Um, it does not have a DVD drive or a um, any type of optical drive. So if you need that, this isn't the computer for you. But it was 400 bucks at my local um, Tiger Direct store, as they call it now. It's not... CompUSA anymore. Let's tag it direct. So let's start with the hardware. Let's start right here. We have a webcam up here. I don't know if you can see it. The lighting is kind of dim in this room I'm in. Um, the screen, which I don't know the resolution off the top of my head. I'll find that out for you. Um, the keyboard feels very nice to type on. I mean, it's not a Lenovo keyboard. Uh, we have the screen, which is a 1366 by 768 resolution on a 15.6 inch display. Uh, like I said, the keyboard is pretty decent to type on. Chiclet style keys, they're not mechanical, this is not a Lenovo, um, but it feels very nice. It doesn't feel um, like the inside of the keyboard here is giving when I press on it. It feels very sturdy, very stable. Um, it has this feature called Ice Cool from Asus which says it keeps all the palm rest and the keyboard and everything cold um, whilst you're using it. Can't say that very well for below you with the fan, but keeps your hands cool. The touchpad, I think, is a little annoying to use sometimes. Um, it's got the Apple-style touchpad where if you click anywhere on the, on the actual touchpad surface, you can click um, just like a regular uh, mouse anywhere very similar to the Apple um, it does have multi gesture or multi touch gesture um, things that Windows 8 uses um, it has it's pretty good to touch on it feels a little stiff um, but that's I guess okay because you don't want to accidentally click on stuff um, it has nothing on the front bezel except for some LED indicator lights Let's move it around to the side here we have an audio out slash in um, basically when you just plug in something you'll be able to choose whether you want it to be out or in so if you're a music producer this might not be optical for you I mean I'm sure you can get a USB sound card to do all your recording stuff with but yeah not the best um, next to it, you have a USB 3.0, 2.0 slot. 3.0 is very fast, very quick. I like it. Um, next to that, you have your HDMI adapter. Um, great for HDTV, blah, blah, blah. Next to that, you have this really cool um, RJ45 network adapter that actually slides open. I don't know if you can see that, but the bottom of it slides open to fit um, the slim form factor. And it slides open so you can slip the actual connector in. I'm not sure about durability with this. Um, it might be, it might break off pretty easily. I don't know. We shall see over time. Next to that, you have a universal memory card reader for your photos, blah, blah, blah. Next to that, you have a VGA, SVGA port. Great for presentations. Like I said, this is great for the office. You see these sturdily built hinges. Feel very quality like. The screen is very thin. Um, pretty quality built screen. 
Um, this is all plastic, so it's not a MacBook Air. You won't have MacBook quality, anything like that. Down here in the bottom, you have the battery, which is the only thick thing in it. It sort of, sort of sticks out a little bit. Um, all the information about the computer, air vents. Now on the other side, we have the Kingston lock to lock it up to a table, I guess. Um, power adapter plug, another USB point port. This is not a USB 3.0, this is a standard one. And vents for the CPU. And that's really about it. It's a very simple computer. It's got a Core i3, the newest uh, range, which is Sandy Bridge. Excellent processor. It is quite snappy. Um, go ahead and enter in my password here. As far as the interface, I don't particularly like uh, Windows 8. I think it's very complicated and overcomplicated, actually. And it feels a lot like I'm using Windows Media Center and I don't like that. So I've already installed Windows Shell, Classic Shell. I will be installing some other things fairly soon. Um, my final word on this, it is an excellent computer. If you like to carry around your computer to school or to your college or your office, excellent commuting computer if you like the bigger form factor, 15.6 6 inches. Um, it has plenty of features, plenty of ports, plenty of expandability. Um, uh, Bluetooth enabled, so if you like mobile devices, connecting up your Bluetooth. Um, speakers, I haven't actually tried. In fact, that is a, to, right now is a great time to try them, because I haven't tried them out. But they're Optic Lansing speakers, branded. I don't know if you can see the little logo there. Um, and so they should be pretty decent. I know I've heard Optic Lansing speakers on previous laptops that I've owned and they sound pretty decent um, while we're waiting for that to start up uh, it's being very slow right now because we're also updating some stuff and this is only a Core i3 uh, which isn't the fastest and Windows 8 really isn't the fastest I've seen and Internet Explorer decided to close on me not what I wanted to do thank you So yeah, this would be a great computer for your school, work, typing documents. The keyboard feels very nice. I think this computer was built primarily for students. It feels like it was built for students. Uh, let's look up the most popular video on the entire YouTube. See how this audio quality is. I don't know if you can hear that, but it sounds quite well. Pretty loud, the bass quality is excellent, I might say, for these small speakers. It presents a very nice sound stage, kind of a wide um, sound experience, listening, listening area. Um, the bass quality is excellent for especially small speakers like this. I think you will be very satisfied with it. I don't know, it's not the loudest set of laptop speakers by far.